right, guys, welcome back to Roleplay. Uh, Neil, before we go into this, can we just do an HP check on everyone? Yes. Vincent is at 34 out of 34. Breger is at 30, uh, 42 out of 49. Abigail is at 28 out of 28. Bannon is at 10 out of 15. It's been a few days since the last HP check, and some of those days were complete bed rest. So. Okay. All right. Uh, are we ready to do this? Yeah. So guys, do we want to do we want me to scream to get them to come downstairs or do we want to go up? No, I, I was think we thinking go up. Are you you really think it's better to be like with all of them at the same time? Well, as opposed to when you scream and then what? And then maybe <laughs> one comes to check out what the hell's going on, maybe a slave got out or something. <clears throat> I <don't> isn't <laughs> isn't where well, aren't we just fighting one I, yeah, think I, only, I only saw one on deck. Hmm. All right, yep. whatever you guys think is best. Let's let's start exploring the area then. Uh, I, I request that Breger wears his bear helmet throughout this fight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess we're opening this door and looking at the deck of the ship. Okay, you guys open the door, and you're still under the ship in the hole. You're just in, like, the main section of the hole now. Do we see anything? Yeah, you see a lot of crates and barrels, um, some human-sized, some giant-sized. No slaves? Um, no, not here. The, you, the hole is fairly large, and in the middle there's a staircase that goes down, and on the far, far side... There is another door, and you guys, there's like, there's a door here, and then you have to take a little bit of a staircase to get down to the next level because you're, how does this look from here? So you're kind of like in this compartment up here, and the hole is a little bit down here, and it's a big section. Only and there's a little a bit of a door up this. here, down. Yeah, but you can't draw heights. <laughs> Relative heights do not do well. You can't do 3D. Fair enough. But Fair we enough. Could. I mean, you could draw like a side view and then a top-down view. But anyways. Fine. If you want to make sense and do things right, <laughs> go ahead and be sensible. Be sensible. The only thing I, I ask now, is this going to take a while for this to, to draw? Should we continue on? That's fine. That's fine. Here, look. This is where you are now. Then there's this deck, right? Which goes up like this. And then there's this. And then there's a staircase that goes down. Do, 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 do. This is a side view? This is the side view. Okay. And yeah. we're over here? Yes. Okay. Here's the anchor. There's no stairs leading up? Uh, not that you can see from your position. You have a little bit of... Because you you're still in this room. Door open. Abigail's the only one that's still visible? Yep. Yeah. You know, the three of us could go check this out, and Abigail could stay in this room. Sure. Vincent, Brady, what do you guys think? What would you think about free... Like, if we could reach the elves and there were nobody to look after them, what if we freed them? And, and yeah, and freedom and did what? Got out of here? No, and then we got some... <laughs> we, we got some help from them with the fight. I think they would be nothing more than... Fodder, but I'm okay with sending people to die mindlessly. So if we want to do that, that's fine with me. It's an interesting idea, Abigail. I think if we could save them um, and then engage in the fight, we probably should do that. But I think, I mean, uh, unfortunately with you visible now, I don't know that we have much options in scouting around the ship without tripping off somebody. I agree. I guess you guys go first and I'll follow you from afar. <clears throat> so just so we're clear, the idea is to get to the top of the boat make sure there's one giant, and then set up the attack that we discussed, right? Right. Abigail, I think you stay behind us or stay out of view until we have to go through some sort of open area. Yeah. I think it might be better, though, to switch it <clears throat> up a bit, and if you guys get the attention first, then it's going to be super easy for me to get a back attack, right? Sure. Probably. I think that might be better. The thing is, is uh, there's a... Ch Chance. I mean, it can go either way, but there's a chance that once I you get that so. back attack, it then turns around after you. True. I guess it, Whereas, should be noted, it should be noted that you actually have to hit the 
back. You just don't. It's not that you have to be behind. You have to hit the back, which is, you know, for a giant, pretty high off the ground. You have to do one of those jumping into the back type maneuvers for a giant, unless he's sitting down. I mean, he's 16 feet tall, so you you need to be on a platform or something to actually stab him in the back. But you could use your bow and hit the hit him up. Yeah, I was yeah. planning on going bow style. Okay. Are we climbing upstairs, gents? Yeah, let's start making our way up. All right. Abigail, be quiet. <laughs> no talking. Stay in the room. <laughs> and we start okay. walking upstairs. So you guys start walking. Um, after you come out and get down to about here-ish, you see that um, there's a, a staircase on the you know, far side. Like if that's... Whoops. Should have done a other view too. So the staircase that you guys are coming down is here. Now we're doing a top view. Okay. And there's another staircase um, over here that comes down from above. Okay. So there's two staircases yeah. is what you're saying. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. there's... yeah, yeah. So we want to go to that staircase then and walk up, right, Vincent Breger? Sounds right. Okay. I agree. Just trying to get to the top floor. That's what we're doing, Neil. Okay. And then we have mast, mast, mast. Cool. So you guys uh, start heading up the staircase, and there is a like a trap door at the top of it, and it's a big trap door. It's like you know eight feet by eight feet, and the staircase is huge. It's like giant sized staircase. So you have a little trouble getting up each step. Well, no, there's little mini steps put in between for. There's like. It's a big set of stairs. Ooh, there's a big set of stairs, and then off on like one side of it, there's like little tiny stairs for the slaves to walk up and down. Is there a little tiny trap door? No, it's just the giant big trap door. Are there any cracks to where we could potentially, I could shrink down and, and look up top or no? How much can you shrink? I'm not saying like I'm going to go miniature size, but like it's a giant. No. Okay. I would assume. Yeah, I mean, there's cracks, but they're, you know, they're. All right, yeah, big. Vincent, do you want to hoist this up and we'll take a quick look, but not all the way? Sure. So that's what we do. Okay. As Vincent quietly and slowly as possible. Max press is 220 pounds. You lift the grate up, no problem. And you guys can peer out. You're on the... This opens up into the deck of the ship. Excuse me. Um, and you see... One giant kind of like plodding around, kind of just pacing back and forth, and a whole bunch of chained up prisoners that are kind of like scattered about, whispering to one another. We're all still invisible, right? Except for Jen. Right. Yeah, but I'm not directly with them. I'm like behind. Right. You're back in the, the yeah. room. Um, but I'm still keeping an eye from afar. Okay. Um, how much does Jeff have to lift this for us to be able to like crawl out of this thing? And not make that much noise. Um, for you to crawl out and not make much noise, not very far. But for Jeff or Breger in plate mail, they, you'd have to basically be all the way open. And then even then, you're still in plate mail, so you kind of jingle. So I, I guess I turn around and, and ask Vincent and Breger, do you guys just want to throw this open and charge the giant? What do you want to do? No, I say we do it quietly. Um, yeah. Even if they see the door open, they're not going to immediately think there's invisible assailants here. They're going to think something different, and then we get in position and do as we planned. Sounds good I to agree. me. I, I say that we run there, and I point to an area where the giant's not pacing, and mm -hmm. that makes it clear to everyone, wait, I'm invisible. Shit. <laughs> I can't <laughs> point anywhere. Um I guess I describe the area to the best of my ability of where we should all run to once we get up out of here, outside of the giant's pacing. And so if he comes over and checks the door, he won't be able to see or smell us or anything. And then okay. I guess we open the door. So, Jeff, you throw this door all the way open? No. no? I push it open and, and ease it down. Okay, so you lift it open enough for people to get past you. And then you ease it down behind you? I guess it could happen simultaneously. It's a gigantic door. Yeah, but there's oh, then the staircase is fairly narrow. Uh, okay, so what happens then is I open it, 
I mm-hmm. begin to push it. I begin to push it. Then just as it's up, I go on the other side and I grab it. And I'm easing it down, easing it down, Neil. Neil, I'm easing <laughs> it down, fast, easing it down. Neil, easing it down. Then I set it down. And then we leave. Does that work? Sure, that works. <laughs> the giant doesn't notice anything? Oh, no, I'm saying that's a, that will work as a method of opening a door. Oh, oh okay. Uh, but quickly, you know, everyone looks at the door that, you know, because there's a bunch of slaves sitting around. And they see all of a sudden this trap door opening up on its own with nothing underneath it. And they just kind of look and exchange glances, but they don't say anything. Yeah. Um, the giant, meanwhile, is like, you know, pacing with his back to you. So he doesn't see it happen. But all the slaves are staring directly at you guys. Okay. So. Uh... Um, and then you set the thing down and, yeah, the giant doesn't seem to notice. These are all elvish slaves, right? All elves. Okay. So I assume all three of us run over to that area that I pointed to, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, how did you point to the area? The one he described. Sorry, he I described, described it before we opened okay. the door. Sure. You guys all Meanwhile, start moving in that direction. Meanwhile, can I go up to the door but not do anything? Just detect noise and kind of hide in the shadows? Sure. You right. creep up to the door. Yeah. And I stay hidden there. I, I just listen to see what's going on. So, okay. ever so quietly, it's possible, just audible to where <laughs> Vincent and Breger can hear this. I say, what now? I say, uh, well, I suppose we go opposite the door, and we need Abigail to then start her attack at the back of the, the giant and then we very quickly need to relieve her and attack when it turns its back to face her and we will be revealed and the battle will begin does Abigail know of this plan? yeah that's the thing I don't know if Abigail knows so well no, you talked about it we talked about it several times she showed signs of not understanding then <laughs> so there's a chance that <laughs> even now <laughs> Someone will have to go over to her and reiterate, but it's okay because you're invisible. So, I nominate Banner to go explain this once more to her. <laughs> no, it's fine. I guess I'll say I understand. If I leave, you guys become visible, so yeah. we're not going to do that. Anyway. Um, uh, so, I guess be... you guys wait for a little while, right? Like, let's see you wait one minute or something? Yeah, I guess we're just waiting up there for the plan to go into action. And then I will open the door. The door is already open. No, you oh, shut didn't up. Didn't you close it behind you? No. Yeah, you said you lowered it, lowering the door, lowering the door. Neil, remember lowering the door? <laughs> oh. Yes, the other side. It's, yeah, I was how imagining do you guys like a works? hatch. It opens it's just like a hatch. this. Yeah, so it goes like this, and then lo- I, I imagine toss, it goes. You toss it all the way back. Watch my arm. Watch my arm. Watch my arm. Neil, watch my arm. It goes like this. 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 It doesn't land all the way down. It tilts up. So it's like sitting halfway up against the rail. Oh. And that's what I did. Yeah. Okay. Did anyone notice that? Yeah, everyone was staring directly at it. Except for the giant. Except for the giant. Because his back was to you guys at the moment. Yes. Doors okay. are oh, open. Okay, so I will re- try to sneakily looks. get out and see if I can climb something. Climb something? <laughs> yeah, let's say there's like a pole or something. I'd like to take a shot from there. Now is not the time, Abigail, to get on a pole. <laughs> I'm like, I, Vincent, I don't let her scream. Do Let's just let her do it. We we're not oh, there, so she can she do whatever to. she wants. She to. does whatever she wants. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so you there's uh, ropes and rigging to like, climb up into the mast and the the rigging area of the ship. And there's now that you're on the deck, there's a fore and aft castle, um, but it's a little bit higher up. And there's a door that goes into either side. So now that you're on like you know what? We have a map. We have a map. Where'd it go? Okay. So, I'm going to do a little bit lower. And of course, these are not to scale, so... Um, where is this being drawn? Oh, there it's we go. It's just a little bit lower on the same thing. And then over on this side, it's a bit more like... It's not quite that big. It's... Neil, what are you drawing? So, okay, the area I, uh, I was like, he's drawing. The area on the right is raised. 
Um, here is the trap door. And we have like a mast and a mast and a mast. And there is a staircase and a staircase and a door and a door and a staircase and a staircase. And a stage, and then there is a set of poles on top of the stage. There's right, a disc lighting. ball just above nice them. Lighting. <laughs> so, okay, so what I figured I'm going to do, is there anything where I could hide, let's say, that I can see? Like a pole? Yeah. I don't like... know I, uh, anywhere I can hide. Like, it's a flat deck with people chained up along the sides into the yeah, mast. Yeah, but I just want to hide from the big giant dude. Well, where do you want to hide? Like, there's no, like, you know, there's no obstruction set up for hiding behind. This isn't Gears of War. So I'm coming from here, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go, like, about here. I'm going to try to take a back attack shot at one of the giants, considering... The I'm one ready. giant. The, the one, one giant. giant. Yeah. The one one giant. Right giant. after I back attack shot him, I'm going to try to go hide right behind the pole. Okay, so you, like, Hi. sneak up behind the mast, take a shot with your bow, and then you're going to duck behind the mast again. Hold yeah. on, where all of us, I guess, are right here. Is that right, Neil? The three of yeah. us? Okay, good. Yeah. Just making that clear. Abigail, yeah. do as you please. So that's okay. my plan. All right, so uh, you sneak up to the, behind the pole. You're still unnoticed, and take your shot. Um, for uh, you, D20 it's... D20 plus. Uh, with your bow, it's plus seven. Plus seven. 27! Oh shit! Well, nailed it! Shit. Um, them crits. So you clear by five, back and fifteen. Yeah. So One it's. Shot no science. <laughs> yeah. So I don't you, think so. you triple critted, but then you all already get an extra times three multiplier, or you know, Six double. You have to get two to dump. So hold on. So. Nice job, Abigail. From across the boat, Vincent shoots you the following look. But you're invisible. Right. So roll five damage. She doesn't dice. see it. So what do I do? Roll uh, five d6. Five d6. And that's yeah. all for my bonuses and everything, right? I think. Hold on. So it. it it's back attack for surprise effect plus. Triple yeah, yeah. crit of doom. Um. Oh yeah, back attack is another plus two on top of that. Which brings it to 29. Um, can you find another plus one in there somewhere? Because if you get 30, you do 66 damage. So You're the GM. How are we supposed to find it? What do you want me to do, Neil? <laughs> yeah. plus one uh, I find a magical you... number. It does 30 damage. About, uh, but sometimes like, you find another plus one. Like, I forgot about to include the back attack. So yeah. that brings it to plus nine. So is there Where's anything she... else I forgot about? Did she talk about when she grabbed one of my magical arrows from my sheath as she was walking past? Short bows can't fire sheath. Fired bows. Uh, okay. What about the um, surprise? Is, is there anything there? Yeah, plus the surprise. How about her rage surprise for her friend Yila is dead? <laughs> plus one for rage of dead friend. What about the range? Is she close to it? Well, the surprise attack is another plus total four. Yeah, yeah, that's another two for surprise attack. So that brings up to 31, so six times damage dice. All right. 66? Six. Alright, let's do it. 19. Seven. What about oh. severity? Does she get to roll for any of that shit? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. 19 Good. plus severity. So let's see if he fails to save. He critically fails to save. Yes! Ah! <laughs> Six. Giant stubs toe, falls in water, creates whirlwind, sucks all <laughs> other giants in known universe. <laughs> it becomes a giant. Black hole. Oh, get it? No, get it? guys. <laughs> They're all like, what's happening to all of us at one time? <laughs> Abigail gets 10 million uh, experience points, becomes level 60. <laughs> all of a sudden, all the jokes bite Jeff in the ass. Abigail becomes <laughs> ultimate god. <laughs> Steals oh, Jeff's soul, <laughs> first thing. <laughs> so, you did 19 damage to him. Yeah. It critically and fails, fails right? to save. Yeah, yeah. Critically fails to save versus death. Bring out the critical damage table. So normally you are. You. He's so big. What size are giants? Giants are 
Oh, huge. Okay. So, yeah. Well, there's a lot of different scales for these things. Um, okay, so I'm going to have you roll 2d4 for severity, just because you did so much. And then a d10 for location. Four. I don't know if that's good. That, that's bad. Uh, roll ah. a d10 for location. What? That's pretty good. It's half. Yeah, I mean, hit him in the chain. Roll a d10 for location. location. Ten. Ten head. Ah. Piercing four. Head grazed, stunned for d3 rounds, minor bleeding. So you, like, shoot him in the back of the neck, and he just, like, starts reeling from complete and utter shock and starts bleeding. Um, and he's stunned for D3 rounds. Okay. And then I do this to the guys. I'm like... You don't know where we're at. <laughs> and I hide. I hide. Neil. She does it in the exact wrong direction. So, Neil, it's bleeding from the head. It's, like, clutching at its face, I guess, would be, like, the stun. Back of its... Yeah. All right. And then I whisper, break or... No. Yes. And I look to around me for like the elves who are chained, and I'm like, yeah, that's what's up. Uh, okay. I back attack with my bow. Okay, roll the hit. Hold um, on, hold on, hold on. Doesn't she get any plus damage to her attack? She just rolled 66. Is there any plus? No. Okay, all right, I was just making sure. <laughs> Usually I see pluses in damage, so. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so your back attack with your bow is at plus eight, plus two for back attack. Another, he's stunned, so you still get the surprise bonus. So um, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, D20 plus 12. This is a regular arrow, by the way. Yeah, okay. regular arrow, D20 plus 12. 19. 19 is a hit. Roll D, what, what do I roll for damage? D8 plus two. You, no, you don't have a magic bow anymore, do you? Nope. Nope. Just the eight. That thing was destroyed under the weight of his ones. Two. Two. Okay. Just did two damage. Mm -hmm. Two little baby damage. Excellent. So now you become visible. You are visible. Uh, oh, as Chad is reminding me, plus four for giants. Oh, yeah. Plus four for giants. Maybe that was a crit then? Maybe. No. No. <laughs> Maybe a crit? No. <laughs> Still no. But you stop stroking um, your fucking chin with the bear paw. I'm it's fine. so soothing, though. You're not inquisitive with that fucking bear mm. paw. <laughs> it's so soothing. It's like Jeez. one of those gifts you get your friend's child that's like a really loud machine gun toy. Yeah. Play with that all day, you bitch. Um, so this giant's over there like this. Just go. Plus I four to attack rolls, not to damage rolls. Uh, I tried. Yeah. Cool. So two damage. Um, the rest of you guys? Dan and Vincent? I am going to point at it. You're invisible. With my lightning rod. <laughs> And scream Dalamar as I shoot it with the fucking lightning rod. Okay. Uh, you Dalamar him. Same with versus spell. Fail. Critical fail. Let me grab the other critical table. <laughs> <laughs> He's so this freaking bad. giant dead. is getting rocked. Now Neil's rolling the ones. Oh shit. <laughs> Shots called and he couldn't hear it. I think it's the bear cloak you're wearing, Ryan. Mm hmm. Damn it, this is going to be so much easier than I was hoping. <laughs> okay, roll your 66 damage. 36. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. god. Yeah, 14. Okay. And What's the new low for that weapon. I think yeah. that is, yeah. The ones. Um, max damage is 36, so max damage is less than... Roll 2d4 for, for severity. Come on, 8. 4. 4, and a d10 for location. Come on, 10. Head, head, head. Seven. Not bad. Not bad. Chest or something? Seven is torso. 
Uh, victim shocked and knocked down penalty to attack rolls for d6 rounds. So you crack him with the chest in the chest with the lightning bolt, and he just like topples to the deck. He doesn't um, fall off the boat. No. Okay. He falls backwards. Okay. Bannon, what do you do? I get the fuck away from the two people that just reveal themselves and stay invisible. <laughs> okay. So if if yeah, so where where did the giant fall? He's over here somewhere. Sorry, let me change. Yeah, you know, no, he had just gone to here, so he fell backwards. He was walking slowly. Okay. So he fell backwards. I'm gonna go over here. Up here. Okay. And okay. then I guess they're still right here, right? Breger and Vincent. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna go up here and wait. Okay. Um, Giant's turn. He's stunned. Player's turn. I want to go again. <laughs> All right. Roll to hit. What are what this is time the... he's lying down, so it's not so much a back attack. What are the slaves doing? They're, they're up against up, their chance. Like... Ah, <laughs> ah, it's like a street no, no, fighter no, battle. Like, ah. stunned it's like, holy shit, what the fuck is going on? Do I okay. see anyone else besides the stunned fallen ogre? Uh, I mean, Giant? No, you haven't seen anyone yet. All right, so I shoot at the dude. Okay, roll to hit. Uh, so it's not uh, a back attack, plus. though, right? No, because he's laying no, down. No, it's not a back attack. But he's laying down. But he's he's a giant, moving. so he... Yeah, yeah, uh, plus... He, yeah, he's stunned, so plus four to hit. So it's plus ten? Eleven? Uh, eleven? Ten. Ten. No, eleven. Eleven? Eleven. Eleven. So 31. Holy shit! Fuck? Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Do nice. it again, Abigail. 66 damage. The damage is... Really doesn't like this giant. <laughs> 26! Six damage. Holy shit. Die, motherfucker! So this giant, like, falls onto his back. You shoot another arrow. It goes right through his skull and, like, lands in his brain, and he just stops moving. I start dancing on him. You no. run over to him, and you start dancing on him. All the slaves are in a fucking uproar. They're all shouting and going, Oh my god! Yelling no, things I... in Elvis. Yeah, yeah, actually, she's dancing on him. It's her badass moment by dancing on the giant. Yeah. Yes. She's dancing on the giant. As she's momentarily distracted, I loot the, the giant before she has a chance Dude, to. Dude, I'm totally on the giant. She didn't have anything on him. I try to pickpocket you... Abigail as she's distracted. No, no, no. There is no distraction. I do it. She'll see, She'll see you do it. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. So, You're Neil, as that happens, I'm going to make my way. Where did the giant fall? Like right here? Yeah. Yeah, over here. Okay. Yeah. And this is the only way to get up onto the top of the ship? Right? No, no, no. There's a staircase here and a staircase here. Oh, I thought those get... were leading up to the top. Th those go to this back area, to the aft castle. Okay. That's where I was. Yeah. This is the okay, only yeah. way down, though, into the ship, right? That's the only way down into the hold that you know of. Okay, so I'm going to walk over towards the giant and, like, look for another way down. You know, I, I think I need to restart my Skype because you just sound like a robot to me and I can't understand anything you're saying. Okay, I can give you a call back. Do you understand okay, that? Right All right. <laughs> do, 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 Holy rolls, what the fuck? I'm totally getting ones from now on. <laughs> yeah, that shit's crazy. Dude. Yeah, it is. And, like, the, the 6d6 damage of 26 is pretty insane as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Can you hear us better? Yes, that's so much better. Okay. Hopefully your webcam comes on in due time. Oh, it did. Perfect. Okay, cool. All right, so the question Perfect. I had was I'm going to go over towards the giant and look for any other ways to come up into the top of the ship. Okay. Yeah, so as go... the elves are doing this weird tribal dance, feeling each other up and like trying to negotiate what's on this giant, I'm kind of like leaning up against the wall and trying to, I'm looking around waiting for the response to. Okay. I'm fading into the shadows as much as my black armor will allow me. Okay. 